So the results, of course, then very closely followed in Brussels. We're going to uh, cross there, talk to our correspondent Dave Keating, who joins us from there. Dave, I mean, there is, isn't there, a real possibility that Marine Le Pen could be the next president of France. How's that being digested there? Well, it's interesting because this is the exact same matchup we had five years ago. And five years ago, people here in Brussels were racked with anxiety about this election. They were watching it very closely. This time, people here have really not been paying very much attention to the French election. And I think that's partly because they thought that Macron's re-election was a fait accompli. Uh, and certainly, I think it's because there's only a certain amount of bandwidth for them to be paying attention to things. And the Ukraine war is really eating up everyone's time right now and of course the French election is something people can't do anything about and the Ukraine war is something that is requiring a lot of people's attention that being said this year as you mentioned the the polls are predicting that the gap between them is going to be even more narrow than 2017 so you would think that would give people more cause for alarm and certainly as we saw the polls tightening over the past two weeks people here in Brussels did start paying attention of course a Le Pen presidency is an extremely worrying process for them. It would present an existential crisis for the EU. Uh, and of course, the, the news about the two mainstream parties is, is also really unwelcome news for Brussels because Brussels kind of operates on this, has operated on this two-party system for a while where the two main groups, the center-left and the center-right, uh, together they have formed a grand alliance in the European Parliament. They have a kind of grand alliance in the Council. That's been shifting for some time. Uh, and already the grand alliance between the center-left and the center-right in the European Parliament lost its majority in the last European Parliament election in 2019. But this is really a body blow. I mean, for the second largest country in the EU, to see basically the implosion of the center left and center right. The fact that they're both under 5% in France, I think will, will be shocking news for people to wake up to here in Brussels. And I think it's going to require a rethinking of how politics works here in Brussels also. Not half as much of a rethinking as if it were to be Le Pen, though. What would that mean, do you think, for Europe? Yeah, as I said, th that would be an existential crisis for the European Union. Le Pen is no longer calling for France to leave the European Union. Really, no far-right leader in Europe is doing that after Brexit, after they could see the unpopularity of Brexit. However, she's said that she kind of wants to dismantle the European Union from within. She said her first foreign visit would be to Brussels to demand a treaty change to hand over more powers back to Paris. We know that David Cameron famously tried to do that for the UK, and it eventually did lead to Brexit. So people are saying, well, Le Pen's agenda is Frexit in name only because she's asking for changes that can't be given, and it would box her into a corner in which she would have to have to take the put the issue of EU membership to a referendum in France. Of course, Frexit would be very different than Brexit because the EU can survive without the UK. It was its relationship with the EU was always rather peripheral. France is a core country. It's a founding country. It's impossible to conceive of the European Union without France, at least as it is today. And so really a Le Pen presidency does hold the prospect for the EU falling apart. It's a very scary idea for people here. It's no less scary for people here in Brussels at NATO. Le Pen has said she wants to pull France out of NATO's command structure. Uh, and of course, her, her closeness with Vladimir Putin is a major concern here. In the very immediate term, if France were to pull out of the sanctions regime against Russia, it would be a body blow to the West and its efforts to try to help Ukraine. Uh, so there's a lot of concerns, both at the EU and NATO, about a Le Pen presidency. It would majorly shake things up. And certainly for the transatlantic community, it is extremely worrying. Dave, thanks very much. Dave Keating, our correspondent, uh, joining us from Brussels.